Hey everybody and welcome back. Today is May 24th, 2020. In this video we're going to talk about the numerology of a sad story that came out of Japan yesterday. We learned about the death of Hana Kimura, a young professional wrestler at the age of only 22. And her death followed a series of interesting incidents online. And the story is that this woman, Hana, was a star on the television reality series Terrace House Tokyo and some of her behavior towards some of her co-stars on that series incited a really harsh reaction from some of the fans online and she wasn't taking it very well and over the past day there are some actual very disturbing images of Hana's um, Twitter profile of her cutting herself and it certainly appears that this is what led to her death so in this video, we're going to talk about the numerology of this and how it relates to the code that I talk about in virtually all of my videos. Down in the description below, you'll see a link to my video on the Eclipse Crucifixion Code. This code embedded in the New Testament and the story of the crucifixion of Jesus. And it appears to be the code by which death occurs in this matrix both whether the stories in the news that we see are real or the people in our personal lives who pass away also. Um, everything can always be built around this code. So we're going to talk about how this relates to the death of Hana Kimura uh, in this news story. Now during the crucifixion of Jesus, even though it occurred during Passover, which would have been a full moon or a new moon, I'm sorry, Passover would have been a full moon. Uh, and there was darkness falling over the sky during the crucifixion and technically a total solar eclipse can only happen during a new moon but the symbolism is very simple to see the death of the sun in relation to the death of the son of god so there's a lot of numerology here my post on this is pretty long but i want to focus on the riddle and we will talk about some of these interesting numbers as well let's actually begin with hana kimura's date of birth First off, let's notice how she was born in the year 97. In the language of Gematria, using the standard alphabetic order, the most basic cipher, which simply numbers the alphabet 1 through 26, each letter relative to its position in the alphabetic order. In ordinal, the name Hana Kimura sums to 97, much like the date or the year that she was born. In the reverse alphabetic order, where the letter Z is assigned 1 and A is 26, the word death sums to 97. In reduction, the phrase eclipse sacrifice also sums to 97. We'll talk about how this death is related to not just the two great American total solar eclipses which create an X over the United States, but also this forthcoming 2020 total solar eclipse which is the exact midway point between these two eclipses. Now there's something else interesting about the word death in Gematria. Notice how in the alphabetic order it sums to 38. This is also the reduction value of killing and murder. Hana Kimura was born on September 3rd of 1997, which is a date with what we call a life lesson number of 38. And in the most significant cipher that I teach outside of the alphabetic order called Latin or Jewish Gematria, the cipher that more closely mirrors Hebrew Gematria and Greek Isopsophy with the numeric structure that it uses, notice how the name Hana Kimura sums to 380. Hana Kimura was famous all around the world, really, but mainly in Japan. And she broke into the business very young. She was actually the daughter of another major professional wrestler in the nation of Japan, Kyoko Kimura. And we'll talk about how her numerology is very much related to this death. In fact, notice how this woman just turned 43 years old last month in March, or two months ago. In standard reduction, her daughter's name, Hana Kimura, equals 43. 
Using the S exception, also called single reduction, the word suicide sums to 43. So how interesting is it that shortly after she turns 43, her daughter, whose name sums to 43, commits suicide equal 40, equals 43. And this number that, of course, ties into the crucifixion code, the name Jesus Christ equals 43 in reduction. Now, Kyoko's numerology is important for another reason. Notice the date she was born, March 19th. If you measure from her birthday to the death of her daughter, notice how it was 65 days later. If we were to include the end date, this is 66 days. Notice how the name Hana Kimura equals 65. Her mother, Kyoko Kimura, summing to 66. But next I want to focus on how this death is related to the Eclipse Crucifixion Code. Again, my video on this linked below. Hana Kimura was born on the very significant date of September 3rd, written 9-3, in the nation of Japan. Notice how Japan has gematria of 93 in reverse. Well, 93 is a significant number to the sun. Think about how our sun, our star, is an average of 93 million miles away. In the alphabetic order, God's sun equals 93. Jesus hailed from Nazareth, and died on a crucifix, all summing to 93. And according to the gospel, the crucifixion occurred between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. by current timing, uh, by how you know, the clock currently works in our present time. In fact, the crucifixion of Jesus was believed by many scholars to have occurred on April 3rd. And April 3rd, this is the date 4 slash 3, remember Jesus Christ equals 43. But notice how April 3rd is the 93rd day of the year, crucified between 9 and 3, the sun 93 million miles away. Of course, Christianity with gematria of 930, the first man in the Bible, Adam, living to be 930 years old. So in my video on the Eclipse Crucifixion Code, 93 is one of great focus, but another one that you'll see that's connected closely is the number 33. And a lot of these same scholars believe that April 3rd was in the year 33 for the crucifixion. Of course, Jesus believed to have been crucified at the age of 33. In the language of Gematria, crucifixion of Jesus Christ yields 303 in English ordinal. Of course, the number 33, tying us to ritual human sacrifice, Judas and Jesus, both with these same digits. And, of course, this show that she was on took place in Tokyo. Tokyo, summing to 610, which, interestingly enough, is the same gematria as crucifix. And perhaps I failed to properly point out that the name Kimura, summing to 330 in Jewish gematria. So why do I think this is related to the 2024 total solar eclipse, which so many things right now are coded to? Think about how we're currently experiencing the coronavirus epidemic or pandemic now. And the corona is the crown or the atmosphere of the sun which is only visible during a total solar eclipse. Now the word corona equals 224 in gematria. Think about this eclipse occurring in 2024. In fact, if you multiply 2 times 24, you get 48, and this eclipse is on April 8th or 4-8. Coronavirus originated in Hubei, China. Notice how Hubei, also 224. Well, if you measure from the birthdays of Kyoko Kimura, who was born March 19th of 1977, to the date of her daughter, the date that she was born, 
Check out how you get exactly 20 years in 24 weeks. So right off the bat, we see this, you know, this is related to the eclipse. Well, what's also interesting about this, of course, she was born in the year 77. Kyoko, her first name equals 77. This is the same gematria as Christ, 77. Now, the name Jesus in that same cipher equals 74. This story coming from the gospel, Jesus dying on the cross, said to be the Messiah. Well, if you measure again this same duration from the birthdays of Kyoko to Hana, if you include the end date, you get exactly 7,474 days. Her daughter, her daughter Hana Kamura, has 74 gematria, just like Jesus Christ. Total solar eclipse, 704. But 74 is also the ordinal gematria of the word killing. Notice how killing equals 115 and 115 in two ciphers. The killing of Jesus occurred during Passover, 115. Don't want to get sidetracked here, though. But there's this other cipher I touch on from time to time called Satanic Gematria, a very relevant cipher. And notice how in this method, killing equals 319. And 319 sticking out because this is the birthday of Kyoko Kimura, March 19th, or 319. Now if you measure from her daughter's date of birth to the date of the 2024 total solar eclipse, she'd be 319 months old. And just to further cement this connection, this television series that she's currently on, Terrace House Tokyo, using the alphabetic order, Terrace House Tokyo summing to 224. Now what about the reverse alphabetic order, Terrace House Tokyo summing to 235? The date that Hana died was the 23rd of May, which is written 23-5 in Japan. Furthermore, in relation to her being born exactly 24 weeks after her mom's birthday, this eclipse in the year 24, notice how the name Hana equals 24. And these two eclipses, creating an X, over the United States of America. X, the 24th letter in the alphabet. This means X also equals 144 in Sumerian, which is the alphabetic order times 6. This is the same as Hana, 144. Her death on May 23rd, falling on the 144th day of a leap year. Again, this is numerology related to the crucifixion. Notice how 68 and 48 appear in the numerology of this date, 68, 48. Crucifix equals 48. Crucifixion equals 68. The 32 and 14 also stand out. With the S exception, Christ equals 32. <laughs> Christ summing to 32, actually in standard reduction. There's a lot of effort for this cipher. I didn't need it. And then Jesus Christ summing to 43, which is the 14th prime number. And then these dates are connected even further. So notice how this 2024 eclipse occurs on the 99th day of a leap year. This first great American eclipse was the first coast-to-coast -coast total eclipse in America in 99 years. The United States of America, summing to 99, also 144, just pointed that number out. Well, the 99th prime number is 523. And then Hana Kimura ends up passing away on 523.
man, this is a long post. I feel like that numerology that I just shared is uh, is pretty strong and pretty solid, but it's worth pointing out that the date that Hana passed falls 46 days after April 8th, which again is the date of this second eclipse. It's also a span of 46 weeks before April 8th. And in English gematria, Kimura equals 460. 460, a number of sacrifice, 46. I believe it was her mother, Kyoko, who was born on a date with 46 numerology as well. What's also interesting, if you measure from her death to the 2024 eclipse, well, you get 46 months, another sacrifice number, but check out the 202 and 2. Well, the date that she died left 222 days in the year. The word eclipse equals 222. Of course, this is the year 2020. Hana died at the age of 22. Total solar eclipse equals 202. There's more connections with prime numbers, 48. She died on a date with 48 numerology. The 2024 eclipse is on 4 slash 8. Well, the 48th prime number, 223, and her death fell 202 weeks, 3 days before that date, the moon equaling 223. That's that Saros number for the moon. I feel like I'm throwing a ton of numbers at you guys during this video, but stream of consciousness or something, I guess. Now, what's also interesting is, you know, I pointed out how this 2020 total solar eclipse is the, is the uh, halfway point between the two American eclipses. So, measuring from August 21st, 2017, to the date of this year's eclipse is 173 weeks. Now, measuring from this year's eclipse to the 2024 eclipse is also 173 weeks. Notice how the name Hana Kimura equals 173. This is also part of the Eclipse Crucifixion Code. While on the cross, Jesus yelling, Eli, Eli. And of course, Eli is the number 173 upside down. Eli, a name for God. Eli equaling 26, 17, 55. God, 26, 17, 55. So it would make sense that her death is also related to this year's total solar eclipse, dying at the age of 22 in 2020. Total solar eclipse equaling 202. Her mother, Kyoko, summing to 22. So her death fell a span of 206 days before this year's eclipse, and that's another sacrifice number, 206. Remember, sacrifice 73, like her name, Kimura. But what's particularly interesting about this year's eclipse in relation to Hana Kimura is that this eclipse is on December 14th, or 1214. And on that date, she will be 1,214 weeks old. So there's a couple more interesting things here that I, uh, I laid out in my post. For instance, she was a wrestler for the promotion Stardom. And, you know, we're talking about this being an eclipse code, right? Well, the moon covers the sun during the eclipse. And what is the sun? It's our star. So yet again, we have, you know, the word star coded right in there. And if you go back on my channel a couple of videos ago, I just did a video on the death of the wife of Starling Marte, another name with star in it. And then her wife was Noelia. Of course, that's related to the Christmas star. So here we have the death of a stardom wrestler. And stardom equals 90 and 99. So does the moon in Gematria, 9099. Um, they also pointed out that she's a Netflix star. And notice how Netflix equals 90 and 99.
the name Kimura just lines up really well with the sacrifice code, like I pointed out. 73 like sacrifice. Both of these women born in Yoko, uh, Yokohama, Kanagawa, Japan, which sums to 73. Kimura also with a lot of overlap with Kill. Kyoko's birth numerology, more alignments with death, homicide. Um, I don't know if it takes a veteran of this code to understand how this all works. But uh, again, my post on this is linked below. Please also check out the other links to my work on the um, Eclipse Crucifixion Code, how this English language is coded around the numerology of eclipses, and the circle, essentially. And uh, I'm also interested to see how many people are watching me live. Um, because for the third video in, in a row, YouTube still shows me only six concurrent viewers. <laughs> and uh, so this number stops going up after I go live now. It's pretty funny, I think. So, um, you know, drop a like. Please feel free to share my work. Everyone's encouraged to share my work. It's all free to do so. This video is a lot to ingest for the, new, uh, the newbie to numerology. I understand that. So I wouldn't expect you necessarily to share this one. But, you know, again, I do this because what we've discovered proves itself over and over and over again. And it seems to happen virtually all the time. So there's no doubt in my mind that, uh, you know, this, there's some legitimacy to this code. And Gematria provides a window to this spiritual matrix that we're all living in. Um, and, you know, I've made it clear in the past that I don't like to speculate on what I think is happening with, these, with the deaths of these people and why the numerology lines up so well. Um, you know, we're at the end of the video. I guess I can speak my mind a little more freely on this. And people won't click away for the rest of the good stuff. But um, in my honest opinion, while I do think that some people are getting murdered by this code, you know, picked out and chosen based on their numerology, I think a lot of this is organic. Absolutely. Um, you know, I think it would, it just takes so much effort to fake a Twitter account where this woman is going through this, you know, this suicidal thing. And perhaps I'm wrong, you know. I could be wrong, and that's why I don't like speculating is because I have no insider knowledge as to what's really happening. All I can do is explore the numerology with you guys and try to best make sense of what we're seeing. So just because I, you know, have made the calculator and do have, you know, somewhat of a pretty good ability to dissect this code, understand how it works, and familiarize myself with it, that doesn't necessarily mean my opinion on everything that's happening is is more valid than anyone else's. Um, I think it might mean a little more, maybe, but again, I don't know, and that's why I don't like to speculate. But, you know, a lot of people point out this is murder by numbers every single time, and this is something I'm kind of frustrated with a little bit, and it's, it's fine. I mean, I'm glad people are sharing numerology. That's That's well worth applause for anybody who's doing that. That's fine. I just want to make sure that the right message is being shared. And, um, I, you know, we don't know that everyone's getting murdered. Uh, again, perhaps it's happening, but I think it's just important to get, a, get people on board with understanding that this code exists, you know, as many people as we can. Um, so, you know, if I, were to, if I were a betting man and I had to put money down, I would say this death was organic. You know, I don't know what lengths these people are willing to go to to make it look real or how willing they would be but i don't think it would be this far i really don't um and uh you know another thing i wanted to point out too is that a lot of people share very basic numerology and that's fine again that's what gets people to understand or what, what ropes people into this knowledge and helps bring the greater consciousness closer to the truth of what we're experiencing but unless you're really going all in and exploring the full depth of the code, I don't want to say you're being dishonest, but you know, you're leaving some very important things out because it's important to show how deep this code is because that, in turn, gives people the proper knowledge as to what's happening where it's not just you know, a couple alignments on the calendar with Gematria. There's this deep woven web, and is this web really woven by people? Um, perhaps people 
do things that set that web into motion down the line, but uh, personally, I don't really know. So, um, you know, some once in a while, I just like to throw my uh, my opinion out there, my two cents. In this case, you know, my eighty nine cents or whatever. And uh, I think I said eighty nine. That was in my mind because it's probably on the calculator still. So. But anyway, again, just more food for thought, you know, um, because, again, you're, you're learning gematria, um, which sums to 142, 74, and 233 from me, and my name is Derek Tickery, summing to 142, and I was born with my son at 74 and my Saturn at 233. You know, my first number has the same gematria as numbers. My, my first name has the same gematria as numbers. My last name, the same gematria as letters. You know, so... <laughs> and I've been doing a lot of work on synchronicity lately, so um, I left that video up as my most recent for about a week on my channel, the one involving the death of the, the double rainbow guy, just uh, a few months after my own incredible synchronicity with a rainbow, where... I literally saw a rainbow at a mile marker that has the gematria of rainbow. So, yeah, again, these videos are on my channel. I encourage you guys to check it out, especially if you're new to this stuff. It's the most fascinating stuff out there, and I wouldn't have dropped most of the stuff I'm doing in my life and taken on this study if I didn't think it was uh, extremely important to the awakening of humanity and the understanding of the realm we live in. And I think through this understanding, and part of the reason I want people to understand this organic side of things is because when you realize that there's a design behind us and our existence in this planet, it gives you the idea that there may be some purpose there as well. And if there's a purpose, what are we really afraid of other than our inability to pursue that purpose? And I've always known that fear is what would be preyed on the most. And I've always known that they were going to tell us that, you know, it's just a slow boil of fear in this country. It started with 9-11. Well, it started before that, but it gained a lot of ground with 9-11, where we were told to fear certain brown people, perhaps. And then throughout the years, all these mass shootings, you know, fear crazy people, fear, fear normal-looking people, even. And now we're being even taught to fear each other, fear our loved ones, because their droplets of spit might kill you. And, you know, we're in this satanic fear matrix run by this media. And, um, of course, I've never been a channel to call for violence, and I won't call for violence. But how great would it be if the uh, mainstream media was not allowed to broadcast to the masses anymore? What would that take? Could you take them down in court? Or would it take something else? Um, if the media goes away, so does this fear matrix. When the media goes away, we start to restore reality and calm in society. And although I thought over the past few years people understood what fake news was becoming and what it was, I was very disappointed after the pandemic broke out to see how many people were still drinking the Kool-Aid every day. And um, there's certainly been positive signs and awakenings, but, you know, we got a lot of work to do as well. So this rant's gone on for about 10 minutes you know, a couple minutes longer than I wanted it to, but just wanted to get all that off my chest. And, uh, you know, I've been doing some shorter videos lately, so just rattling off what I feel like I feel like saying. But um, thanks to everybody who jumped in. However, you know, 40 or 50 of you guys were talking during the live chat. I appreciate everybody's support. You know, some of you guys have been here since I freaking started. You know, my last video was on that pier fire in San Francisco talking about how it was related to Donald Trump and the Oakland warehouse fire that occurred after Donald Trump was elected before he was inaugurated. And, uh, you know, I realized how long I've been making Gematria videos because that Oakland warehouse video was mentioned in my very first Gematria video in December of 2018. Or, I'm sorry, December of 2016. And, uh... You know, some of you guys in the chat have seriously been here, like, since the beginning, and that's so awesome because I always expect that people are going to find my videos 
and they're going to understand what's happening and then you know they'll they'll watch a few and they'll be like oh well everything's a lie it's it's a hoax i get it and then go on with their daily lives and that's totally fine i'm not here to make money i'm not here to keep your views i'm not here to keep your eyes i'm here to explain what the hell is happening as best i can through the numbers um but some of you guys are are so entranced by this knowledge and apparently feel like this knowledge is still helping you grow and learn after all these years and that to me is some of the coolest stuff, you know, that I can do this this long and people are still right along with me, still helping, you know, to know that I'm still helping them learn and grow is awesome. Um, and, you know, my Discord has been a hub of content creators in the past and I hope it continues to be in the future. And um, it's, it's really beautiful to see what we've grown, right? I mean, not everybody's going to get it. There's always going to be haters. There's always going to be people posting memes and laughing at us. But for those of us who are awake and aware to the inner workings of this spiritual realm and matrix that we live in. Um, is there anything more enlightening and beautiful than seeing how it's all woven together? You know, we're in a wonderful time where we get to be, um, you know, by baseline, our souls have ascended a little bit higher than the previous generation, and we sort of get to get closer and closer to this enlightenment, this singularity, so to speak. I don't know how else to explain it. But um, I'm happy to share it with you guys, so... I hope a lot of you stick around for many years to come because, again, I mean, while I may take on different roles in my life going forward, I do plan on always making videos and sharing this knowledge and, and getting to speak about it because it's my true passion, and it always will be, I think. Um, nothing's really satiated my OCD behaviors for as long as Gematria has, and this has already gone way longer than any other hobby. So, All right, guys, with that, I'm out. Peace, love, God bless. We'll talk to you next time.